Hello everyone and welcome to Developer 3.5 Pro YouTube channel. So in this video we are going to increase the speed of the player over time so the game gets more and more difficult to play and also we are going to add the sliding so now I can slide as you can see when I swipe down I can slide and we have this slide animation so that we can pass this obstacle with the high works barrier so without further ado let's get started so to increase the speed of the player let's open the player controller script under script we have the player controller script open it up using Visual Studio as you can see we have here the forward speed variable so to increase the speed of the player let's go over here and let's increase the speed using uh, forward speed plus equals 0 0.1 multiplied by time the delta time so here we are increasing the speed or the forward speed by 0 0.1 each second but also we need to declare a maximum speed so over here let's declare a new variable and let's make it public as well and it's going to be a float and let's call this max speed and over here we are going to add to the forward speed 0 0.1 multiplied by time to delta time if the forward speed is less than the maximum speed in this case we are going to increase the forward speed by 0 0.1 each second you can make a comment over here increase speed now let's save this and go back into unity select the player and over here we have the the starting forward speed which is 8 so we are going to set the maximum value of the speed to 15 now let's hit play so when I hit play you see that the value of the speed is increasing over time as you can see it right now over here now let's add the sliding under the player we have the wheel so select the wheel and let's open the animation window using window animation animation and let's create the slide animation from here then let's go over here and create the new animation I'm going to put it under the animations folder as well and let's call this slide then hit save so for this animation let's hit this record button I'm going to change the rotation around the Y to 90 and I'm going to rotate the uh, wheel around the Z axis minus 70 degrees and let's move it a little bit along the Y axis and let's put it minus 0 0.3 so this is for the sliding then close this window and under the animator we have the new animation slide so let's make some transitions so let's make a transition from run to slide and also we can slide when we are jumping so let's add a new parameter over here so let's use a boolean and let's call this is sliding then over here we are going to switch to the slide animation when is sliding is true under conditions let's select it is sliding true the same thing we can go from the jump animation to the slide one when is sliding is true and uh, make sure that you remove has exit time for these transitions but also we need to go back from the slide animation to the run animation and uh, let's remove has exit time and when is sliding is false we are going to switch to the run animation now let's go back to the player controller script and uh, over here we are going to check if we swipe down 
we are going to uh, slide so let's put this over here so if swipe manager dot swipe down in this case we are going to uh, slide and I'm going to use the start coroutine method so if you don't know what is start coroutine I'm gonna put the link in the description so let's use the start coroutine and we are going to call a method and let's call it uh, slide we didn't declare the method yet so we are going to do that right now but before that you have to make sure that uh, you are using uh, system collections so over here using system dot collections now over here let's declare the slide method and let's make it private i enumerator slide so in this method we are going to access the animator using animator dot set ball we are going to set the boolean that we've just created which is is sliding and let's set it to true then let's wait for 1.5 second using yield return new wait for seconds and let's wait for 1.3 second so this is the duration of the sliding animation then let's put the animator dot set boolean and we are going to change the uh, boolean variable is sliding to false now let's save this and uh, go back into unity and hit this run button as you can see now I can slide we have this slide animation when I swipe down but we need actually to change the uh, collider of the player so that we can pass the obstacle with the high works barrier so let's select the tile manager empty game object and over here let's add the tile with the high works barrier drag and drop this tile under the prefabs folder and put it in the tile prefabs array now when you hit play you see that when I slide I can't pass this obstacle that's because we didn't change the uh, collider of the player you see over here that we have this green uh, these green edges we need to change the collider of the player when we are sliding and to do that we have the character controller component as you can see from here we can change the height and the uh, center of the uh, collider so let's select the player when we slide we are going to change the height to 1 and the center to minus 0 0.5 now let's remove the mesh render and you can see over here that the collider is changed and we are going to do that with the script so let's give it back to uh, 2 so let's open the player controller script in the slide method we are going to access the character controller so let's uh, use controller dot center we are going to change the center to a new vector 3 and we are going to put the x 0 and for the y minus 0 0.5 and let's leave the z to 0 and also we are going to change the height using controller dot height equals 1 then after 1.3 seconds let's uh, change these values again we are going to change the uh, center of the control character controller to 0 and the height to 2 now let's save this and go back into unity and let's set this run button now we will be able to pass this obstacle when I slide using the swipe down as you can see right now but now we need to change this a little bit because we can slide multiple times so we need to make sure that we can't slide when we are actually sliding and to do that I'm going to declare a boolean uh, variable over here and let's make it private bool and let's call this is sliding and let's put it to false by default 
and over here we are going to slide when we swipe down and we are not sliding then over here when we enter the slide method we are going to put the value of the uh, boolean is sliding to true and then we are going to put it to false now let's save this and go back into unity and let's hit this run button again you see now that I can slide using this wipe down and I can't slide multiple times that's because we are checking if we are sliding or not we can slide only when is sliding is uh, false so that's pretty much it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it if you have any question or comment make sure to leave it under the comment section down below and uh, have a great day